Bacon! What's up guys? Welcome to Crazy Kimberlin Opinions. I took a little break, but now I'm back and we got something special. Some voodoo chili. You know how we do. We check out the looks, the smell, the taste, and the heat. Now right off the bat, I already know if it's coming from Voodoo Chili Sauces and Salsa, this is going to be the bomb. I have not had one bad sauce yet from Voodoo Chili, and on top of that, it involves two of my favorite things besides hot sauce, beer and bacon. <laughs> yeah, I said it. All right, let's get started. So this is Voodoo Chili Hot Sauce made with Pearl Necklace Chesapeake Stout. And then we have here the actual Pearl Necklace Chesapeake Stout from Flying Dog Brewery awesome it's always great when you can have both to pair up and have in a video love it let's go okay a stout brewed with chesapeake oysters yes we then took that truly amazing chesapeake stout and crafted it into an intense bacon hot sauce that would do things to your taste buds that will rock your world use this sauce on almost any dish for a boost of heat and intensely unique flavor a collaboration with flying dog awesome but man the ingredients list in this thing is wild we got Flying Dog Brewery Pearl Necklace Chesapeake Stout for the very first ingredient. Then we have crushed tomato, we have carrots, we have water, we have roasted red peppers, we got orange habanero, we got chipotle peppers, we got apple cider vinegar, we got ham flavoring, we got artificial bacon flavoring, onion powder, exorbic acid, citric acid, spices, toasted garlic, salt. All right, contains milk, soy, shellfish, and wheat. It's always fun to say it like that, wheat. And then we got our pearl necklace, uh, I don't review a lot of beers. I have had them in my videos. I love beer, but if I sit here and act like I know what I'm talking about when uh, trying to uh, uh, taste beer, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you either tastes good or it doesn't. Um, so, and I've but I've had quite a bit of Flying Dog. I love them. Uh, maybe we should take a sip of the beer first. Why not? Of course, I have my bacon bottle opener for this occasion. Let's go, man. This isn't even cold, <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. It's like a little chilled. I'm no professional beer pourer. <laughs> oh, smells good, man. And I like a nice dark beer too. Awesome stuff. Check it out, check that mug out. We're gonna get into this too. We're not gonna go deep into a big, big shake shake because we got a lot to get through. Boom. All right, let's try a little bit of this nice, foamy, delicious looking treat. Mmm. Everyone's favorite bivalve contributes to more than just your grandmother's pearls. They are a vital part of the Chesapeake Bay's ecosystem, but the population is at a mere 1% of its historical peak. Since its inception, proceeds from Pearl Necklace have helped plant millions of baby oysters in the bay. This is 5.5% alcohol. For every bottle of Pearl Necklace sold or plants, 10 oysters in the Chesapeake Bay. That's, all, that's super awesome. Cool, man. All right, this is tasty. Let's try a little bit of sauce now, Voodoo Chili, man. I'm not afraid to say this. I've reviewed well over 100 sauces, maybe 200, going on 200 maybe, maybe more. And I will tell you, Voodoo Chili is definitely, definitely in my top five favorites of all time, all time. Oh man, and that's why right there. The smokiness, the bacon, and then you have beer in it, man. Come on, get the heck. Oh, dude. Holy moly. All right, check it out. Nice consistency there. It's not super thin. It's not real runny. Oh, man. Bacon. Oh, man. That bacon, the smokiness. You got the pearl necklace Chesapeake Stout in there. Uh, just all these ingredients, there's tons of ingredients, all this mixed together. Tom Toth, the creator of Voodoo Chili, is just a, a mad scientist with these hot sauces. This is amazing. I didn't prepare a meal or anything, but I did want to try this on a chip or something. I'm just going to pour some right in here, man. A little 
delicious delight. I don't know if you can even see that. Mm. So good. Now what I'll definitely say, I think this will be good on absolutely anything. A sauce that I would use on breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All the above, on a heat level, I do mine one through five, one pretty much no heat at all. Five pretty much unbearable. I'm gonna give it a two, a two on my heat scale. He has it a two and a half. I agree. Uh, it's not too powerful, too hot to where you're not gonna sit and enjoy it. This bad boy's pack is so much flavor, it's ridiculous, man. And then, I mean, you got this too, cheers. They go hand in hand. I could just sit here and eat chips with this sauce and drink this beer and have a wonderful night. <laughs> For real. So there you have it, guys, man. Voodoo chili coming through all the time. I'm so glad I was able to get this sauce. Um, love it. Voodoo chili still stands strong, man. Never a let down. Ever, 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 ever. If you want a sauce that's guaranteed to be good, pick up some voodoo chili sauces, man. And like I said, bacon and beer. <laughs> Come on, man. So there you have it. Boodle Chili, collab with Flying Dog, Pearl Necklace, I'm Crazy Kimberlin, have a good one.